Developed in the late 1930s independently by both Arthur Ruge and Edward Simmons, the strain gauge allows a way to electrically measure the mechanical deformation of an object. My strain gauge consists of a very thin wire laid out in a convoluted path on a strip of springy carbon steel. The wire is then pre-tensioned and glued in place using cyanoacrylate. Once dry, the wire is permanently bonded along its entire length to the steel strip. When the gauge is at rest, a voltage is applied and the resistance of the gauge can be calculated. With no strain, the resistance of the copper wire remains constant. When the substrate is stretched, the wires, which are strongly bonded, begin to stretch as well. This causes the wires to narrow very slightly, but in a linear and repeatable way. This stretching increases the resistance of the copper wire and can be measured. Squeezing the substrate will cause the opposite effect. The wires are pushed in line with their length and become slightly wider. This causes their resistance to lower, allowing more current to flow. In my gauge, the substrate is bent rather than squeezed or stretched. By gluing the wires to the steel strip, they are stretched and squeezed as the surface of the strip becomes minutely longer and shorter. When flexed through its entire range of motion, my strain gauge changes in resistance by less than one-tenth of an ohm. With a base resistance of 50 ohms, four wire measurement is infeasible. I instead used a Wheatstone bridge, which will measure only the change in resistance rather than the absolute value. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.